How's it going everybody? That's it here and today I have a question for you when we get into this game. The question is, do you have a hard time versus the Arceus Dialga Palkia team, otherwise known as ADP? Do you have a problem dealing with this deck? Are you fighting this deck every single time on ladder and you just don't know how to get around it, the Alter Creation GX, the Alter Ray, the Energy Acceleration, uh, the Reliance on Zacian V and Zamazenta, like that deck feels like it's so strong. And you know, you can't just make it either because some of the cards are so expensive. So the question is, how do you beat it? Similar to yesterday's video, we're going to be talking about a really, really cool deck and a deck that I think has an almost 100% win rate against almost every single ADP deck on the ladder. So if you're going to beat those ADP decks and have fun playing Pokemon TCGO with a relatively cheap and easy to craft deck, I have the deck for you. So let's look on into the deck. And, you know, while we're going into the looking at the deck phase, I just want to say we stream all these games you're going to be looking at live on Twitch TV slash stats plus one. Links in the description. We offer off a raffle code for a TZGI code every single 30 minutes on stream that we are live. So definitely do me a favor. Go check that out. Drop a follow. You can also check out our Discord that we have linked uh, in the description of this video. So check both those out. Today, we're going to look at the similar team that we looked at in yesterday's video. If you want a much more in-depth breakdown of this deck be sure to check it out uh it is probably gonna be linked somewhere on the channel so yeah i actually just think that because a lot of the pokemon in that deck are v's or g maxes we're really going to be able to use decidui deep forest camo to be able to absolutely dumpster them and anything that decidui can't wall using this ability that blocks all damage from vngx mons we're definitely going to be able to take out with obstagoon uh so today's games are going to be a bunch of games actually showing how this deck can put those super expensive hard to build, hard to beat ADP decks into the dumpster. So guys, hopefully you guys enjoy these type of games. Sit back, max relax, act all cool, enjoy the highlights, and hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Let's get right on into the games. Here we go. But I mean, the last, I've been playing TCG regionals, like, I usually play one to two TCG regionals a year. Like, I'll go to the VGC event, but like, I play TCG. Just so I can still see everyone, I usually play in the uh, VGC side event. Ugh, bad, bad hand. Bad hand, still. Still very bad hand. I'm gonna have to Marnie that, I think. This sucks. I mean, it's it's still winnable, depending on what their deck is, though. Like, some decks just can't deal with, like, Obstagoon. Just wanna say hi to VGC videos. Yo, I appreciate you. I appreciate that. Zashi and Art School, it's ADP. Um. We need two Marnies. Time for the next three boy. Yeah, after this game. After this game, you know it. It's actually even worth it to play them in Six Zagoon. Like, I don't think you need Six Zagoon in this matchup. Like, at all. Like, I actually think like, Six Zagoon is, like, just not the sauce at all. Yeah. The only thing that's worth keeping Six Zagoon for would be, uh, like, Pokecomi next turn. But, like, I plan on just, uh, using Professor's Research next turn. 10k to redeem, yo. Flounce, do you play TCG? Like, do you, do you play TCG? I think you do. Maybe. It's fine. Yeah, ADP has a really bad matchup versus Rowlet. So, yeah, we just got to profess this research next turn. Stellar Wish, hopefully we can actually get something going. We already have an energy on this guy too. That's like the hardest part. Just started on TCGO. Yo, you know what? Because you redeemed a 10k thing, I'm gonna give you a code. After the game. Oh, double professor's research on now. Let's go. Give me that rare candy decidui. Give me that rare candy. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's a decision right there, but like, no candy. I mean, we can. We haven't lost it yet. Uh, there's absolutely no reason to get this Radium Forest around. So it's like. Yeah, we want a quick ball to discard this one. Go for our other one of these. And play that here. I still, we still want to play that there. 
it's actually smarter to go for the Pokecom right now. Actually, believe it or not, because it's thinning the deck. We're looking for a rare candy, and there's four in the deck. It's a good amount of energy I have in the deck. Like, anywhere from, like, 10 to 12. Yo, are you real? It sucks. I guess I could have attached an energy there, too. Yeah, if they can actually pick this guy off, I'll lose. But, like, I don't think they have the energy ready to do that. Let me actually think about how I want to do that. I actually think that, like... We might as well just play it the long way, then. Instead of waiting for the red candy, it's a lot easier to just get a Decidueye. So it sucks we had to blow all those cards, but, like, it's fine. Because if we get this guy on the board, we win the game. I remember you as a VC player. My first real memory of how you went 8-0 no on day one Lancaster. That was such a good setup. Like, everyone was running Mega Sally because that was the first regional of 2015. So, like, everyone was running Mega Sally because it became Talent Flame from 2014. And it, like, kind of just dumpstered the 2014 meta. And I was like, Sceptile outspeed Salamence. Uh, Rotom checks uh, specific matchups. And looking back in hindsight, like, yeah, Scarf Lightning Rod Mon. Scar Scarf... Discharge usually with Lightning Rod Mon, Mon, that's like super standard, but like back in the day, like, you know, like no one was prepared for that. Everyone was way too like tunneled in. The game was not nearly as like uh, streamlined as it was today. So it's like, I lead Rotom Sceptile and just dumpster people. Cause like people just weren't ready for it, that's all. 7-1 was that one. Yeah, see like, you would have been a really hard matchup. I probably would have lost that one, but we never had to play. Like I really only wanted to fight people that were running Salamence. That's it. Like, if you were fighting, if you had, if you had like Lando Salamence, I wanted to fight you. But if anyone had like Kang or Titar, like I fought a guy that was using Mega Gengar in top 16, and I actually won that game, and that was so hard to win. But I like TCG. I, I would say I like TCG more than BGC. I just like card games more in general. If I can get my Decidueye out of the board, I'll win. Because the situation says that it can't get, it doesn't take any damage from any of these Vs. Like, the game's over if I get it on the board. That was probably one of the coolest top cuts. Like, it had, like, me, you, uh, my buddy Alex was there, Alberto. Alberto was the one that knocked me out in game three of our top four game. Top eight, sorry. I loved that top cut. And I fought our buddy, the really tall guy. Is it Eric? I think his name. He had he used gastro. <laughs> Missed that guy. Legacy's brother, yeah. Uh, Dark Dark Assassin. Is that that guy's name? Cyrus, yeah, you're right. That was a fun top cut. The only bad thing about that event was that we had to play in like that soccer area, and there's like nowhere to eat in that place. All right, cool. So we have this. Uh, gonna wish here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna wish here. I would like to just get my card right now. Quick Ball is not that great. Switch is usable. We have two Jirachis. I wonder if it's actually better to, like, switch and do that and then scoop up. Or if it's better to scoop up. I think it's better to actually do the switch. Yeah, let me get my... Let me just get literally anything. Rare Candy is not really usable. That's a pretty decent card still. We keep the drach in our hand in case we get a poke come. Oh wait, we can't we can't do it again? Oh I, I did I do the wrong one. Yeah, I'm an idiot. It's fine. I'm an idiot. What the fuck? How are we not getting this? I haven't hatched an energy yet, so like I can technically uh Yeah, I think it, yeah, I, I totally botched that though. Eric's cool, he's marrying out, living that normal boring adult life. Yo, if you ever see him ever, tell him that I miss him. We have to just hard switch then. I think that's how that works. Give me this. Research. We already played a trainer. How are we not getting a Pokecom? I swear to goodness. Yeah, that's right. Give me Pokecom. Right. Yo, thank you for the follow. Can we trade? I don't have anything to trade. I mean, holy moly. Like, I'm just big sad energy over here.
My Decidueye just wants to do something, man. I cannot get... Like, there's 20 cards in my deck. I can't get up anything. If he takes out this Decidueye, I lose. Like, this is straight up game over. I guess I could also be, like, quickballing uh, to develop a second Decidueye in case I just draw one. In case he does go for, like, a boss's order. This is just a really, really unlucky game. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. We are going to be doing a, a code raffle giveaway at the end of this game. Is there a quick ball? Like, what do you have? Like, do you have Bronzor? Bronze is like your only way out. Go back. All right, I'll go for it. Have I Jirachi like eight times though and not hit anything that can let me go into an evolved Pokemon? It's like actually kind of nutty. I'm about to run the uh, evolution item that's such a deck for Ebomon. Metal Tan Tag. What about Meltan the tag thing? It's actually a really good Pokemon for his bench because it, it like it forces people that are playing like me like the Decidueye to flood my bench. So it's actually a really cool Pokemon. I'm surprised he played it that early. Uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna kill anything. I'll just deck him right. 24 to oh wait I can't deck him yet. But he can't hit me. If I ever get my decision on the board, you cannot hit me. Oh, I don't I don't need that card. I'm okay. Yeah, go for it, Chief. He's gonna actually hit something. You better watch out. I think the way that we're gonna actually win this one is by I don't know if that's a one up in that deck. The Mawile. Oh thank god. The merciful opponent. Give me Decidueye. Why won't you give me this you gave me like the same hand? Oh man. Thing's thick too. Grass resist? Not fair. He's gonna come up with this thing and go for the GX attack. Almost deck him. Scoop up net. Yo, give me... Give me Decidueye. That's not a good card. All these are bad. You don't even want the stadium. Give me... My Decidueye, please. Give me my Decidueye, please. If I profess this research, I seriously risk, like, decking. Fuck it. I'm gonna discard it anyway, so it's like... Should've touched that energy, I'm an idiot. I'm just so tilted right now. There we go! Baby doll! Decidueye on deck! Fucking, it's about damn time. Should have attached up there and hard switch, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, it's so stressful. Who's your favorite professor? Hmm. I bet they're prized. No, they weren't prized. Like, we looked at them already. Like, we searched the deck already. He can't hit the Decidueye, though. He could totally hit the Strachi. I don't give a shit. This thing should resist everything. It shouldn't have no resistances. He gets two prizes, though. Yeah, I actually made a mistake there. I gave him those two prizes. But, like, now what? Now what do you do? I actually don't think we ever want to KO that, per se. Until, like, the final blow. So, like, one, two, three. Like, it's fine. We just kind of sit here forever. You don't want to kill that Mawile, because then you can actually get it back, and then you can play it and put all the stuff down from my bench. We just want to leave that Mawile there forever. Yeah, Professor Elm had a really good card. Professor Elm's research was a cool card. I just don't see what he does here. He could boss resort out this thing, but like, I, I'm fine. 
Yep. It's exactly what, a, like, he has to do. So, like, he can't win. The only way he wins is by decking me. Which, I should have another Marnie in here. And I'll just Marnie at the very end. Yep. He gets two prizes for it. That he does. I'd like to get my hands on a zigzagoon and a scoop up so I can actually do the last hit because it only does 270 to this thing. I want to see what he does. Like, he just, like, skip his turns 19 to 13. Eventually, like, we're going to have a Marnie off. You guys can pull it. You guys can ask whatever kind of questions you want. I'm going to win this game. He's like, why won't he play? You can't bounce that thing back because it's a GX. If you could ever get that Mawa back on the board, I could lose, though. We have boss's orders, too. Yep, Ultimate Ray, never heard of it. I'm gonna be able, I'm gonna try and bust that out at like the last second when he's not ready for it. So we're gonna like quick ball for a zigzagoon to get to the last hit there and make him send out something else in boss's order to get a KO on something else that we want. So we're gonna get three prizes for knocking that thing out. And then like we'll get like two and then like I need to get a scoop up too. This thing's at 10. So we can do that all next turn. He's probably gonna send out the Mala or something. He wants it to die. There's his quick ball. I wanna see what he's quick balling for. I wanna see if I'll bail it. Yeah, he bails it. That's fine. You just waste the card. Go for that switch, Chief. That's all you. I can just kill that thing now. If I want. Which I don't. <laughs> like I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for like a triple knockout. So I'm gonna go like one, two, three, like four, five, and like six, seven. Like I'm not gonna kill that thing. It's not the play. Yeah, I can kill that thing with a freaking zigzagoon. So I can get one, two, three. And then that guy is almost within range. Got it. I don't see I don't see a way I throw this. Cause like this thing can get KO'd. Alright, so this guy gets KO'd from my attack. That guy I'll get three prizes for that. I want to get a triple prize with the use of orders. I'll take a little bit. I want to get like ten prizes in like one turn. I think I can do it. This guy's at ten. Hard switch. There's the Zigzagoon. If I had a scoop up, I'd play it right now and just get the KO, but actually I wouldn't. Yeah, I can just I can just chill. One more turn. Two more turns and we got it. So we're gonna hit here, here, and then we'll play the Zigzagoon, get the KO there, and then we'll make it so we have to hit the bat with uh We have to hit the bat with like, we'll, we'll be able to hit this guy in the back. Should have saved that Mawile, man. I'm never going to kill anything. Kill the bat, yes. Now you can totally heal all your stuff. Like, seriously, like, I'm not going to let you have, like, a shot. I'm gonna get all the KOs at once, I think. Alright, so 150 there. Because I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 
Yeah, I think I'm okay here. Let's just look at this exactly. It's like 150 plus it's 170. How much does that put that thing at? 170. Alright, Dedene gets KO'd next turn. Crobat gets KO's next turn. Or Crobat's not KO'd next turn. This the is KO'd whenever I feel like it. So next turn I go here and start putting them on the back. Okay, I think I can do it. It's just gonna, it's just gonna take a little bit. It's just gonna take a little bit. Hey, heart switch to your heart's content. She, it's actually kind of helping me. They want to bring that guy out. Second six. Oh, that's actually really important. All right, so we're not gonna kill the Dedene. We're gonna hit the bat for twenty and the Zashian. Sashian for 20. Okay, so right now you are at 310. You're at 70. So I can KO you here, and I can KO both of these guys. Yeah, I got it. Unless he plays something really weird. That Zashian's also at 50. Okay, go for it, Chief. I think I got it, though. So we're gonna boss's order this one. All right, let me see this. That's KOable. That's KOable. Where's the boss's order? Hey, buddy. I just want to make sure if I can kill it. That's dead. That's dead. Kill it. Give me seven prizes. Ah! Oh! I'll take seven of them. And it doesn't get. Any, but you owe me another prize, my guy. You owe me another one. Give me that value. Victory! 1,070 damage. We're on a win streak right now. Is that an attorney? I don't even know what the hell that is. I won the coin flip. All right. I'm going to go first, but I don't think I should. I think it's probably better to go second. But I want to evolve. Yo, let me get that bird keeper and just win the game. So I'll take this hand. Is it Eternius? He's sad. He probably has like Dedene. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's almost like I play the game. Um, I mean, I could quick ball away one of these Marnies for a Jirachi, or I could actually start loading up an Obstagoon. I think it'd be better to start loading up an Obstagoon, but like, I think if, if you're jirachi list, you're like big sad at this deck. So I'll get the Jirachi for now. And we're just gonna set an energy there. And then next turn we're probably gonna... Um, I guess I should've got the... Yeah, I actually should just do this now. Yeah, it's better to do this now. If I topic that Rick Candy, I'm a literal god. <laughs> And we're just gonna Professor the next turn. That's the idea. Don't really want to Marnie against that. You can force him to do that stuff. Until I regret my life choices. But TCG's a lot of fun. People said they wanted to see Obstacoon. I think they meant for BGC. Yep, ADP. Alright. That's a good card. But it just doesn't do that much against, like, this whole deck. This whole deck kind of just shuts it out. Yep. You have to load up, like, a Bronzor, and I'll take that Bronzor out. I will take you out if you, pull up, you start loading up that Bronzor. I will wind shard you to death. Okay. 
probably gonna cut the Brock's grit in this deck too for like uh, the trainer. Crobat. Okay, cool. Got wasting a crowbat there. Yo, fill that bench up, Chief. If you fill up your bench with like all GXs, I just won't. I won't. I'll just deck you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, no! That sucks. Look at that. Oh, that's so bad. I have to do it though. Double discard my obstagoons. Big sad. All right, uh, we actually got this going. It's fine. We have a Brock script for that. Love and TCG stream. I appreciate it. Uh, let's actually think about what I do want to do. Because I can switch out for Jirachi. And get... I think I am going to do that. And just play a little bit of a longer scenario. Because we can always Pokecom away for like... Star tricks if we have to, but like we can scout for a, a rare candy right here. Yep. Yeah, this is fine. Alright, let's go. You can have that today all you want, but we already got a Decidueye, so like we're fine. So Decidueye says, prevent all damage under this Pokemon by attacks from your opponents uh, V and GXs. And so these are all V and GXs. You can see it says Dedene GX, uh, Arceus and Palkia GX, Zacian V, Crobat V. So like they can't deal damage to the Decidueye. So I just got to get like two Decidueyes and I win the game. They Now these decks usually have like one or two Mons that can like actually like hit you. Zamazenta is the same ability. Yeah, Zamazenta is like super busted. But then like, you know, we're not using those. But I think Zamazenta is really good. I okay, go for Air Balloon, Cadix Swell. Yeah, it's fine. I never draw my stadiums. I actually have a decent amount of stadiums in here too. I never ever draw them. That's such a good card. But we'll see. Like if they just load up their four, uh, back row with two more maxes, we just kind of win. We just gotta not deck ourselves, so we probably won't even ever play this research. You can retreat. Oh, you want Chief? He's probably fishing for like Bronzors right now. Sometimes they're in Bronzor, sometimes they're in Oranguru. Uh, they usually have like one Mon that can actually hit these guys, but then like they can't break an Obsidian Boom with that. That's kind of how that goes. That's right, so what we got. We got a Skyless, so that's actually guaranteed to get a switch right there. Um, I'm gonna Stellar Wish right now. Oh, we got a switch right there, too. Ooh, we got a Brock's Grit. Uh, I like that card, but... Let me think about that. I, I want my Brock's Grit so I can actually start getting my Hobstick Koopas rolling. I think I'm just going to grab the switch, though. Brock's Grit's still in the deck, so it's fine. You can always Skyla for the Brock's Grit, too. Like, do I have to play support of this turn? I don't actually think I need to. Think about this. I'll Skyla this turn. I have an idea. I'm actually gonna Skyla for this, and I'm gonna grab my Dartrix with it. Yep. Ooh, I could also just like this turn grab my Parasol. I think this is fine. I think Turf, Turf Field Stadium is good. Now just start, let me get a second decision while rolling. Yep. And the next time I get my decision out of it. He didn't play a stadium. Like, I'll, I'll take a free of all. Shot there, so no reason. It's a little Sasha. It's a speed uh, spread on Jirachi. Yo, yeah, there's no spread. It's, it's thick. It's 70. It's actually really thick for a basic one. Never know how this game works. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, it's a game built more on consistency than like mostly RNG. There's nothing you can do here. You can't even hit me. That board can't touch the decision line. Bowser. He can totally bounce his orders and get three prizes off of these. He's probably going to take this guy out. Yeah. That's smart. Hey, what, hey, what am I? What else am I gonna do? Right. Let's come back out though. Oh yeah, 
forgot he gets two prizes for those. Yeah, so we actually need to scoop these guys up relatively soon. We do need to scoop them up. This guy's taking 30. It's a three shot here, four shot. If I can just scoop up. Yeah, because he's going to be able to use three bosses orders. If he has, I don't know how many bosses orders he has within that deck, though. Uh, we can poke a calm for our Rowlet. And try and get that going again, or I can just go for a research right now. I think I'm gonna Pokecom for this Rowlet and just try and get it. The thing is, like, I don't actually. How many scoop ups have I played? None? I think I'm just gonna chill. Yeah, I'm fine with this. I don't wanna deck myself. I would teach you online, but it can just never invest enough time to get into it. It's a lot of work. You're looking a little light in terms of power. I mean, we don't need power. He can't hit us. <laughs> so, like, he's going to have to use boss's order every single turn, and that's another Pokemon on his bench that he can't use. If he fills the bench up, we just have to eventually get a scoop up for one more of these mons so we can't get any more prizes off that. Let's see what he's coming in with. Come in here. Okay, go for it. That's the second boss's orders. Yo, how many boss's orders do you have? You have all four already? So let me get my uh buff, please. Cause he, if he gets one more KO, we lose. Because he gets two prizes for every knockout thanks to that ability. I really need to get that scoop up. So like I guess I can do this and hope for it. Got it. Cool. So yeah, I think we just go like this. We're not going to play any more Mons on the bench, and I think we just got it. Yep. I think we're going to get him. I don't know. I, if, he, if he has one more slot of something he can actually load up, he, has also, he also has to respect our ability to play boss's orders. Okay, we still have one more left in the deck. But if he can't hit the Decidueye, like, I'm not ever going to give him a shot. We also have the Parasol, too, so, like, he can't do, like, additional weird effects. Card art is exactly amazing. Yeah, Oranguru, right? So he can load up, an, he can load up one Oranguru that, like, I'm not going to let him load up. It's 30 less damage. I only need, like, 30 there. So I'm doing big bench damage, so that's the point. If I get a kill on this, too, I get three prizes. Yeah, I just got to kill that Oranguru. I think I got it. On it and metal energy. He also has to hit me twice with that, I think. Did you ever play the Game Boy Color? Oh, of course. Yeah, I've beaten that game eight times over. He's fishing. I bet you he has that boss's order. He's only used two. He probably runs four in that deck. So I bet you he has it, like in his hand. I'm just so I can't ever play something on my bench. Like ever. I just gotta start chunking that orange guru with back row. 22, 27, yeah, I have a... It's hard, it's good, this one's gonna be hard. He's definitely playing to his out, so I'm gonna go, I have to go like, hit there, back row, hit there, back row, and then hopefully I drop boss's orders within two turns. I wanna see what he does. I'm gonna discard, I'm gonna draw three. And what do you- oh, what do you get back? I didn't see it. Whatever. I didn't see what he got back. He probably got a boss's orders back. Yep, he did. Alright. I don't understand, TCG, why can't he kill me? Uh, we have our Decidueye, and so it says prevent all damage under this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's V and GX. And so it's a V, right there, you can see the Zashi and V. Uh, Dedenne is a GX, GX, V, V. This is the only thing that can hit me, and it's not ready yet. And I don't, it, it's not a one shot. Like I can just kind of, can just kind of wait him out. Is it worth it to put points there? It's worth it to put one more on the Dedenne at least. Cause this thing's already within range for a uh, boss's orders. And boss's orders is a it pretty much gust of wind. It just takes them out. So let's see what he goes for. And he actually, he only needs one more knockout 
not just because I only have one mon, but because this thing's GX attack makes it so uh, you get an additional prize every time you get a knockout. So if I were to play anything on my bench, he would bosses order it, make it bring it out, make my decision by go in the back, and then he'd be able to, uh, you know, just get the big damage on me. And next turn, that thing will be ready to go, but it doesn't KO. He has a steroid boost from this uh, GX attack. His attacks do 30 more damage, but like it doesn't KO, we're at 140. So he has to load up like two of those things, and I'm not going to let him. And I'd like to draw a boss's orders sometime. I don't see a reason to not put that there, just in case he goes for like some sort of energy removal. Yeah. We didn't do like any damage to the Zacian either. It's because of the Force Cam ability. Yep. The Force Camo. And so he could totally like switch out here and try and like hit me in the face, but then I'll KO him back. I guess he could play a the item card that gives you 30 more health on this guy this turn, hard switch up the Zacian and hit me, and then I won't have enough damage to like actually take him back out. That'd suck. Now we'll see. He's still searching for stuff. Yeah, that's right. That's and thank right. you for the follow. Appreciate you. Appreciate that follow, Chief. Hope we're having a wonderful day. Yeah, let's see it. Red's challenge. Search your deck for a card and put it in your hand. Yo, yo, that's the good card. He's actually gonna search for it. He's gonna search for that uh that item card that gives your Pokemon 30 health, I think. I think that's the only thing that he'd actually do here. I don't think it shows me the card. That card's so nutty sometimes. Search your deck for a card and put it in your hand. Talk about heart of the cards, right? Let's see what the magic mystery card is. I want see if he's saving his last. Alright, so he's still saving the boss's order. Hard switch for Orange Guru. You got the item chief? Nope. Alright, what the hell is his, is that card then? He says well played, but like what card? I mean, I'm just going to go for it. Give me my first prize of the game. Oh, Orin Guru, nice. I mean, what does he have, right? I, he might just, if he has like another Orin Guru, we'll see. Cause there's no way these months hit me. Okay. Oh, he discards the boss's orders. I take those. Yeah, you, you, you're out of cards though. Oh, we take those, yo. Don't let, don't let, don't get decked. Scoop up net. Yo, actually, that's kind of nice. So we have one more Obstagoon. So we can actually start scoop up netting. Like, now that we drew that scoop up net, well, now, um, we can get something to one. So this thing is going to be at 30. So we can actually get a KO on that next turn. We'll actually be able to KO that. Uh, that was exactly the next turn. And he's not going to see it coming. But you don't want to do it that. Time. Actually, am I an idiot? Fuck, I'm an idiot. I could've done that this turn. I'm so bad. Damn it, I could've killed that today, like right now. Ugh. Yeah, auto woman the deck out. Yep, it's auto woman the deck out. He couldn't hit me anymore, so we take those. Have you been liking Jirachi with no a skateboard? I actually didn't play Jirachi with a skateboard back in the day. Like, not back in the day. I didn't have Jirachis like when they first came out in tag team. Of course I had a mole. Um, but like, scoop up is really just the same thing. It's actually better, I would say. I'd say it's better. Blister packs, those are the three dollar ones. Alright, that's uh, usable. I really like to not fight this mirror every time. As a shit hand. We'll see. Alright, Crobat. Okay. I mean if I can get like Let's see what you got. Huh. <laughs> sure. Yo, there's you guys about to one shot me here. Like, these are the type of hands that like, I get. It's like, how bad is this? You know? Like, what do you want me to do? Oh, two packs of Buster's Oh, That's actually really nice. But like, what do you do with this board? 
the only thing I can really hope right now, since my hand is so bad, is that, like, yeah, they're playing that deck. Uh, we can actually really still take advantage of the ADP. What does the ADP stand for in the ADP Zashian deck? Oh, Arceus Dialog of Halkia. Alright, I just got that. I'm an idiot. That deck doesn't do anything to mind if I can actually get a Rowlet on the board. I might have to just Skyla if I don't want to just absolutely flail around. I want to play Charizard Reshiram so bad. I would love to play Charizard Reshiram. That's the deck that I want to play. Like, that is the deck that I would like to play. But, like, I don't have the cards. How's your day? And do you plan to stream some Pokken? Uh, we're not going to play Pokken today. Oh, uh, there's Professor Researched. Um, we're playing uh, Decidueye right now. Pokken's fun, though. I need a little bit more sleep to play some Pokken. Alright, uh, I should just Marnie that. That's huge. Yeah, that's right. Yo, that's, that's right. right, yo. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, is there anything I can actually do here? I don't want to use Jirachi yet. We just got to Raw Marnie. This is, like, such... This is so bad. But we have to. Like, that's way too much card advantage for them. It'd be really cool if I could get, like, literally anything going. But, like, we want to save our Jirachi until after. Eh, that's usable. I can still Jirachi right now. Pokecom's nice, and we already have like a professor for next turn. Yeah, Pokecom's nice. All right, so let me actually think about this. So we can Pokecom for Rowlet, scoop up. I'm okay with that. Actually, we can do this. I don't need Brock's in this matchup. So you get Rowlet. Actually, can I use like four Jirachis here? How's it going? It's going pretty good. I think we're just gonna get the Rowlet here. We could Pokecom for Jirachi and then use the second scoop up for second Jirachi. I don't dislike that. I could also go like this. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Get our Jirachi engine going. And then Jirachi. Scoop this Jirachi. Send this Jirachi out. Do this first in case we top deck like a Pokeball or something. Awesome. That's really good. Just a little bit more consistency. We already are planning on doing that next turn. The reason why we grab that is just in case they pop off with another huge hand off of the Intrepid Sword from the Zashian. So I'm going to show you. Yeah, I like I like this playlist. This is a guy, Adrian Von Ziegler. I link him uh, in my WoW videos. It looks like we're playing very similar decks. Well, not similar. Uh, similar like cores because like we both are on the Orange Guru. I like that Orange Guru card. I wonder if it will actually like really accelerate onto that thing. Pokemon's TCG. Oh, that's what we're doing today. Yeah, this deck, I think we beat it, though. Like, if we can get one Rowlet, like, set, I think we just win. I think it's game over. Oh, they're, why they're switching? Bro, you don't get, you can't do anything. Oh, you're gonna have Parabolic? All right. I guess you put the second energy on, right? Yeah. Okay. So, during the rest of the game, his stacks do 30 more damage. Oh, he's just going for the big damage, yo. He wants to risk it for the, he wants that Drachi gone. He wants that acceleration. I like this card. I want to play Giratina Garchomp. I'd be, I'd love to play that. I think it'd be super fun. But this deck's like super expensive too. Boom. Oh, he's GX. That cool. I can take my Jirachi. Also, we got energy. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I don't think it's actually worth it to do this. I actually really need to hit some good cards right now. Like, I need my. I need to get exactly what I need. That's close. Scoop ups. I should be able to hit this. Yeah, Pokecom. I just want to make sure that it's in there. We want to start loading up on a second Rowlet just in case something weird happens. So we're going to go here. We're going to Pokecom. Make sure we got the Situas in the deck. I want to see how many energies we have here. Alright, we got a decent amount. How many bosses were I have two. So I guess I'm pretty lucky in that regard. I wonder if I should actually... I'm just going to use the Switch. I'm going to save the Scoop Up in case I need to Scoop Up my Decidua at some point. Can't attack, but I think that's okay. Because he can't do any damage to me. Uh, he can try and load up that Oranguru, but, like, uh, I'm probably gonna take the Oranguru out, and if he ever plays another GX, we'll just never 
Hit it. Yeah, he's gonna start loading up that Oranguru. That's completely fine. Uh, I'm I'm ready to fight the Oranguru. Cause like we can start loading up um, what is it? If he's gonna play like that, like this board, we can just load up an Obstagoon, and then we're fine. Like he'll never be able to break it. Like we don't even ever have to like kill the things really. Boss's orders were hard to get. Boss's orders are pretty much a Lysander. Oh, he's going for it. He really wants it. I think that's going to get a, a hard switch. Alright, I need to get some damage up on that thing. I need to get it. I need to get at least 30 damage. So, like, I need to get an obstacle and load it up. That's a good card. Somewhat. Alright, cool. Um, you actually don't want to put the 10 damage on the on the orange guru. Actually, I am gonna put the 10 damage just in case. I wanted to know that that's where I'm going. <laughs> and we did draw an energy. We did get a rare candy for that. Might as well start loading it up here. Well, I'm okay with this. Uh, we're gonna discard the Jirachi. So that's 30 damage right there. The way this is going to work is, even if he comes in, he can only heal 70, and then we just kill him again. You can get two Dedenny GX boss orders and the Dedenny trainer kit. It was $5 on eBay. Yo! Where do I buy that? I would actually just purchase that, because I want- I actually need Dedenny's IRL. So... I might have to go- I might have to go check out eBay. I only have one Dedenny IRL. Yeah, he can attack me once. I have no problem with that. I want to see if he attaches, like, another one of the big things. Because, like, it's just 70, you know? He's searching for it. Even if he does at least have the obstacle in this, like, this puts him at the range. Yeah, you can go for it, Chief. Oh, damn, Chief's 100. Why? Oh, because of that one ability thing. That's actually really cool. Um, let me actually think about this, because, like, I don't want to put a ton of things on my bench. But thank you so much. Um, let's actually think about what I want to do with this obstacle. It's actually going to be kind of hard. We are going to play the Red Canyon with the obstacle, actually. Yeah, he just he knew, he knew I had it. Uh, I was just going to lock him up. I was going to transition after the decision I went down into an only obstacle play and scoop up all my other mons and just make it so he can't ever hit the obstacle. 